Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and I'm a family nurse practitioner and instructor here at SMNP Reviews. In this video, I'm going to go over the different levels of evidence. You will likely encounter this topic on your NP board exam, but you also need to be able to assess the credibility of evidence when making clinical decisions for your patients. And if you would like to dive deeper into this and other professional NP role topics, you should check out one of our review courses. And go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. And so, why is appraising evidence so important? Well, evidence from nursing and medical research becomes the basis for informing the decisions in the care of our patients. And as real deal nurse practitioners, we need to understand the quality of evidence before applying it to our clinical decision making. You can think of the levels of evidence like a pyramid. At the bottom, these tend to be made up of qualitative studies and professional opinions, where at the top of the pyramid are the syntheses of rigorous quantitative studies. So starting from the bottom, an example of level seven evidence is the opinions of expert authorities or committees. This is considered at a lower level due to the potential for bias in the report. Level six evidence is from a single study or from an evidence-based practice project or quality improvement project. As we move up the pyramid, you'll see how the levels of evidence start to include larger studies or the synthesis of multiple studies. And this allows for a more thorough understanding of the clinical question when there's a larger amount of data to answer it. Level five evidence is from systematic reviews of qualitative studies, and level four evidence is from cohort studies. And the important thing to remember here is that although these types of studies and evidence are considered lower level, that doesn't mean they aren't worth looking at. For example, qualitative studies focusing on the lived experience of something can still provide tremendous insight into answering a clinical question. The last three levels at the top of the pyramid have larger amounts of quantitative data and a lesser likelihood of bias. Level three evidence comes from non-randomized trials, which are also known as quasi-experimental trials. Level two evidence is from randomized control trials, or RCTs. This is where participants are randomly assigned to the study groups, and all RCTs have a component of blinding, which means that some aspect of the procedure is masked from the investigators, participants, data collectors, and or the analysts. And then lastly, level one evidence comes from the systematic reviews or meta-analyses of related RCTs. These are considered such high quality evidence because they summarize a large amount of data from rigorous and well-designed studies. All right, let's go over a few examples of research and decide what level of evidence they align with. Example one. A systematic review consisting of 12 double-blind RCTs totaling 1,500 participants. What level of evidence is this? Yes, level one evidence. So example two, a large-scale study measuring the effects of telemedicine visits on hospital readmissions. So for a hint here, this type of study cannot be randomized. So what level of evidence is this? This is level three evidence. It also is an example of a quasi-experimental study or a non-randomized trial. There are lots more professional role topics to nail down before your exams, but I hope you found this video helpful and feel more confident in understanding the levels of evidence. If you are interested in learning more about how to pass boards and other NP practice topics, definitely check out our review courses. And if you want to join a wonderful free community of students prepping just like you, then you make sure to join our Facebook group. Here's the source for more information. And you are so close to becoming a real deal NP. Make sure you check out our other videos because we believe with the right preparation, you will absolutely pass your boards. We are all rooting for you here at SMNP Reviews.